installing uh, CIDH piles to support the columns for this uh, bridge they call a pergola. Just on this side alone, we have about 150 CIDH piles, anywhere from four foot in diameter all the way up to 11 foot in diameter, as, as deep as 210 feet. The bridge itself is gonna be about 4,400 feet long, basically from the south crossing a river, crossing the BNSF tracks and Highway 43 over to the other side. Drill Tech is doing the, uh, the piles just for this pergola here, and then we have another segment up on uh, in Kings River that's about 40, 45 uh, miles up the road from here. This is all old lake bottom here. This was called Lake Tulare about 100 years ago. It dried up and turned it into farmland. There's a lot of um, high groundwater around here, so we're drilling what's called the wet hole method. So we have to fill the hole with polymer. And so we, we mix that in these big settling tanks and pump that in as we're drilling and keep the, keep the head pressure real high keep the hole full of polymer as we're drilling. We're going through different layers of uh, sand, clay, silty clay, silty sand, and every hole has a different cutoff, so we hit different layers at different times. The process starts with drilling a 13-foot diameter hole uh, anywhere from 25 to 40 feet deep. We'll get the can set, we have to support it, and then fill, backfill it with about 30 cubic yards of uh, four sack slurry, and that'll secure the can in there and then form a plug at the bottom. Then after that sets up, we come back and, and backfill around the edge of that can with the eight sack grout mix. After that's uh, set up, then we go down and start drilling the, the actual pile. These bigger ones are 10 foot, 11 foot diameter and we'll go down as, as, as far as uh, 210 feet. Every pile's different, no two alike, so everything has got a different uh, cutoff elevation. After we get the hole drilled to tip, we do what's called a shape test, and this is a, it's kind of like a radar that we send down the hole, and it takes a digital profile what the actual hole looks like and it'll measure the actual displacement, how what the volume of the actual hole is and it measures the verticality of the hole uh, so we know that it's it's vertical and we have a tolerance of 12 inches in every hundred feet and pretty much most of these holes we're keeping to less than four to six inches out of uh, verticality out of out of 200 feet so we're doing real well with keeping these holes straight. After we take the, uh, the shape, we'll go down and do a clean out pass with the spin bottom. It's a flat bottom bucket and the hole's got to be pretty much perfectly clean like you could eat off the bottom. We have to go down and, and confirm that with this uh, unit that's called a squid and it takes uh, a measurement of the amount of sediment at the bottom of the hole and we can't have any more than one inch of sediment at the bottom of any hole and half of the readings have to be below a half an inch, so it's real precise. This uh, unit that we send down takes measurements up to uh, as accurate as one hundredth of one inch. Right after we finish this squid, our, our cage crew comes in and they, uh, they go and they pick the bottom cage and trip it and stand it up vertical. The heaviest cage that we had to pick was about 170,000 pounds. Uh, so these cages for the 10 and 11 foot diameter piles have triple bundled number 18 rebar in the top 60 feet of them. So they're super heavy. A lot of care and planning goes into uh, everything that we do here. These cages are so long that we can't pick them all in one, we have to splice them. Once we get the second or the bottom cage stood up, set in the hole, we have to lock that off and then pick up the top piece and line it up just perfectly. Attach all the mechanical couplers, and that cage is basically spliced solid. There's no overlap, it's, it's all mechanically coupled. Once 
Once we get the cage set to a elevation and get it locked off, we set the platform on top of the hole, get our trimmy pipe laid out all the way to the bottom. We're using a 10 inch diameter trimmy pipe and then we're ready to pour. We basically uh, pour all night long. This one took about 450 cubic yards. So we're just cranking those trucks out about every five, six minutes. Well, this is really just an amazing project. These guys out here, everyone's real tight together. We're kind of like a family. Everybody's so focused on what we're doing. It's really incredible how well everybody works together. You know, as long as it is, we'll, we'll be here for over a year by the time it's all said and done. But we'll be looking forward to the next one after this.